Good day everybody, this is uh, Chris and I'm going to be uh, doing a video recording. This is going to be for uh, assignment number five, task two, and this is in uh, regards to uh, biostatistics and epidemiology for clinical toxicology, summer 2013. Uh, so task two asks the following, uh, given a test sensitivity of 80% and a test specificity of 70% and a disease prevalence of 25%, Calculate positive and negative predictive uh, values for individuals who test positive and negative, respectively, on the test. Okay, so what do we have going on here? Well, we have some sort of test that has 80% uh, specificity and 80% uh, sensitivity, excuse me, 70% specificity, and the disease that we're looking for has a 25% prevalence. That means that 25% uh, of the, 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 the population or the sample of the population that we're looking at has the disease. Okay, so there are a couple of ways that we can calculate this. The first way is by using the 2x2 two two matrix method, uh, which I'll talk about. And then there's also uh, Bayer's theorem, and I'll be using Bayer's theorem to verify the results that I get from two by two um, tables. I think I said matrix, but I meant table, two by two table um, testing. So the first thing we need to know uh, for uh, solving this, or step one, is how to set up our table. So you just draw a square, okay, divide it to four different squares, and I have A red, B is blue, uh, kind of a light blue, C is dark blue, and then D is purple, A, B, C, A, D. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a positive test result up here, negative test result here. I'm going to have people with the disease and people without the disease here. And then we can, uh, from the data that we put in this box, we'll have our true positives, our false negatives, our false positives, and our true negatives. And that allows us, once we know what A, B, C, and D are, that allows us to plug into these formulas here. So PPV is one of the things we're looking for. That is positive predictive value is A divided by A plus B. Negative predictive value is D divided by C plus D. Okay. Um, going down this way, I have A here, which is the accuracy, and that is A plus D divided by everything, A plus B plus C plus D. Um, I also have my sensitivity, or what we will call E here, and sensitivity is simply A divided by A plus C. And then P is my specificity, which is going to be D divided by B plus D. Okay? should also be noted that A plus C will equal my prevalence. Uh, that's a good thing to put in the back of your mind because it will uh, be very relevant later on. Um, also know that N is a total number of people that we're looking at in our sample, and it'll be all of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select an arbitrary number of people because it doesn't really matter. We already know the sensitivity, the specificity, and um, the prevalence. So it doesn't really matter, so let's just pick a number that's relatively easy to work with, and uh, either 1, 10, 100, or 1,000 tend to be easier numbers to work with, um, just because it's, it's just a matter of moving decimal points. So let's just pick 1,000, okay? We'll just pick 1,000. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. So now what we need to do is we need to find out what A, B, C, and D are, okay? So let's go over to step two here. Let's see if I can uh, move this here. All right. So step two. Let's see if I can do this without having this thing fall over. All right. So step two, um, just to remind you what we're dealing with, we have an E, which is a sensitivity of eighty percent, a P, specificity of seventy percent a prevalence of 25%, and what we're going to do is we're going to set our total number of people that we're looking at to 1,000. It doesn't really matter, but 1,000 is an easy number to work with. So that means that 250 people out of that 1,000 people have the disease that we're testing for. Does that kind of make sense? That's a 25% prevalence, right? So that's 250 people out of 1,000 or 25 out of 100 um, or 0.25 out of 1. 
whatever works, that's 25%. Um, we'll just use 250 out of 1,000 people. Okay. So now what I need to do is I'm going to move down to step three here, and I need to figure out what A, B, C, and D are. So if you remember when I said A plus C equals the prevalence, well, we know that the prevalence uh, people that already have disease, and we know the prevalence is 25% from above, so um, A plus C in this case must equal 250 people because 250 is 25% of the 1,000 people that we had, had said we were looking at um, as our, our, our sample or our population. Um, so that must mean that if A plus C are people that already have the disease, then B plus D must be the people that don't have the disease. And that's easy to find out because my N is 1,000 and 250 of that 1,000 don't have the disease. So 700 or do have the disease. So 750 of that 1,000 must not have the disease. So now what I need to do is I, to figure out the individual A, B, C, and D is I need to take this information here and I just need to do some basic algebra. So let me bring this down here a little bit. Okay, so if you remember E, which is our sensitivity, equals A divided by A plus C. Okay, um, in this case it's 0 0.8, that's 80%. Well, I know that A plus C equals 250. So why not just put 250 down in the denominator, and then I just have uh, some basic algebra to do, and that is 0 0.8 equals A divided by 250. Um, what can we do? We can multiply by 250. So 250 multiplied by 0 0.8 just gives me 200. So I now know that A must be 200, and what do I have left over? Well, I have 50 left over, so C must be 50, and then A plus C equals 250. Okay, so now I know what A and C are. A is 200, C is 250. I'll do the same thing down with P or the specificity. Um, again, the specificity is 70% uh, uh, or 0 0.7. And again, B plus D from up here equals 750 or non-diseased, a number of non-diseased people. So we'll set this formula up exactly the same way. Um, we'll set a 0 0.7 equals D divided by B plus D, and we know that B plus D is 750. So 0 0.7 equals D divided by 750. Let's go ahead and just do basic algebra multiply by 750. 750 multiplied by 0 0.7 equals 525. So D must equal 525 which means that B must equal 225, and then 225 plus 525 is going to equal the 750 non-diseased people that we're dealing with. Now that we have both A, uh, B, C, and D, we can move over to step four here, and we can just go ahead and plug those numbers in. So I have A here, I have B here, I have C, and I have D. And remember the, the formulas that we talked about up here, positive predictive value. Let's see if I move that up. So PPV equals A divided by A plus B. So if you can see right here, I have A, which is 200, divided by A plus B, 200 plus 225. Um, so 200 plus 225, um, and then 200 divided by that, and that is going to equal... 0.471 or 47.1 percent PPV is positive predictive value. So that is a 47.1 percent positive predictive value. Likewise, if I want to calculate my negative predictive value, I'll go up here. If we remember, negative predictive value equals D divided by C plus D. Well, we know that D is uh, 525, and we know that C is 50, so 525 divided by 50 plus 525, and that gives us a negative predictive value of 0 0.913, or 91.3%. So now what I'm going to do, 
real quickly is I'm going to use Bayer's Theorem. And I am just going to plug some numbers in, and I'm going to double check my, uh, my mathematics, my calculations here. So Bayer's Theorem for positive, uh, positive predictive value is E times the prevalence divided by E times the prevalence plus 1 minus P, which is the specificity, multiplied by 1 minus the prevalence. Okay, so I'll plug those numbers in. E is 0 0.8, prevalence is 0 0.25. 0 0.8 is E, 0 0.25 plus 1, 0 0.25, multiply by 1 minus uh, 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is P, 0 0.25 is my prevalence. Okay, remember do stuff inside of the parentheses first and then multiply. So we've done that here, 0 0.8 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.2, divided by 0 0.2 plus, okay, and then I've done this here, 0 0.75 multiplied by 0 0.3, which is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.225, or 0 0.425, so our equation is now 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.425, which gives me 0 0.47058, etc., etc., etc. If you look here, I rounded. This is 0 0.47 or 47.1%. 0 0.470. I'll just round the 0 to 1 since I have a 5, and that'll give me 47.1%. So you can see that um, my 2 by 2, uh, my 2 by uh, 2 by 2 uh, setup uh, matches uh, Bayer's theorem. And I'm very confident of both my positive predictive value and my negative predictive value. Okay, guys, as always, thanks for hanging in there.